know, friends, every day we live in different situations, and in those particular situations, we have to communicate with someone formally, informally, or semi-informally. So today, we'll see, we'll try to understand what situational dialogue is. Friends, language is used as a means of communication. Every day we come across several people and form a conversation with them. We spend much of our time consciously to, consciously to listen or speak to others. In daily course, we use language and perform a number of communicative functions. When two or more persons come together, they form conversation or dialogues on any of the situation. In our conversation, many times, we do agree or disagree with people, accept or reject their views, accept or deny something. Besides, we express our likes and dislikes, welcome and greet people, offer them things like food or drinks as part of hospitality. We appreciate or compliment somebody, etc., etc. These expressions make us build individual and social relations with people around us. Conversation or situational dialogues specifically requires content or topic or the context to speak about. There can be following purposes for dialogues such as number one, a simple greeting for social purposes. Number two, spending or killing time in social gatherings. Number three, giving and asking for information. Number four, making formal dialogue at some situations. And number five, sharing of some ideas in the form of conversation, discussions, debates, or arguments. In making a successful conversation, there needs to be correct use of language and proper expressions. It requires vocabulary, expressions, language, and most importantly, body language to communicate effective messages. Friends, in our daily life, we converse with various people from different fields. Sometimes we meet people in gardens, at restaurants, at the bus stop, in hospitals, in parties, in social gatherings, at railway station, at shopping malls, etc., etc. And we carry out dialogues in various forms with certain people. This conversation or dialogue are formed in three different types. That is formal, semi-formal, and informal. Now let us concentrate on formal situations. What are formal situations in which we converse with different people and the way we converse? It is a conversation which is formed between strangers and to exchange only essential and unavoidable matters. The speaker and the listener just share a formal type of dialogue where personal and private matters are not included as two are unfamiliar to each other. Here, the speaker and the listener maintain polite dialogue as they show respect through their language and behavior. Such conversations normally take place in offices and with the superiors or juniors as there is no scope for any emotional or personal talk about the families or friends. Friends, let us see semi-formal situations. In this conversational type, limited extent can be a part of dialogue including greeting, inquiries, discussions, etc. In such situations, the acquaintance with the person is limited as they have not met or come across once or twice before in a party, on a train, in a bus, or some particular functions. The dialogues between the two persons are not found intimate or close, and even they do not have easy and free sharing of views and ideas. The dialogues are formed just to show little courtesy and not the greater intimacy of sharing and discussing personal problems or matters. In these situations, there are no elaborate gestures and free expressions, but has reserved emotions 
unless we need to make actions. Friends, now let us turn to the informal situations. In this conversational dialogue, much intimacy is seen expressed through dialogue with friends, family members, close relatives, colleagues, neighbors, etc. The dialogue shows the intimate and close relationship between the speakers. Here, the dialogue is freely expressed without keeping anything reserved. It has openness, intimacy, personal involvement, and has no requirement of any formal behavior, politeness, respect, and courtesy, as is seen among formal conversations. It has elaborate expressions, free body movement, and free expressions of emotions. These dialects are mostly shared with natural expression, free treatment, and also in a very frank way. So friends, these are three forms of situations, that is, formal situation, semi-formal situation, and informal situation. Now let me add here that every day we come across different people at school, at college, at market, at shopping, at medical, at banks, at everywhere. Even sometimes we call the customer cares and we come in contact with that customer representative. So everywhere we have to speak to them in order to get our business fulfilled. So friends, as an example, we see two dialogues, one formal and another informal as follows. A student meets her teacher in a shopping mall. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mahi. How do you do? I'm fine. What are you going to buy? I heard that there are some good qualities notepads and folders here. Oh, I saw some over there. They must be the ones you are looking for. I will take a look at them. Well, I have finished my shopping. See you then. See you, sir. A girl consoles her friend for being cheated by online shopping. You are looking so gloomy. What's the matter with you? Oh, I lost my rupee 7000 in a purchase on the internet. Gosh, how did that happen? I participated in an internet auction to purchase a good looking mobile handset. I paid for the handset but it never arrived. This is happening too frequently these days. What did you do when you did not receive this handset? Well, I contacted them, of course, but the answer I got was that it must have got lost in the mail. That kind of internet fraud is all too common these days. You need to be a lot more careful when you buy stuff on the internet. Yeah, we'll take care in the future.